Number 21, directly behind Nesbitt. That is Cox in motion, and the first play under pressure, and Nesbitt's got some room to run if he wants it. Boy, Jordan, I tell you what, Virginia Tech defenders got around. This is one of the plays they like to go with the pitch, and Virginia Tech studied its film. The player for the Hokies on defense, he's number one in the orange. And flag is down. Play clock may have run out. Prior to the snap, full start. Offense, number 55. Five yards under the remain third down. A couple of things we ought to Thomas is really their number one threat outside in the passing game. And it's Nesbitt on the keeper. Breaks a couple of tackles, a first down. And I tell you what, That play straight ahead is... And again, the base play with Dwyer. Beck got a taste of their own medicine. And lost that game 27-22. And that didn't look very pretty. The ball on the ground. This was a problem for Georgia Tech against Boston College last week, and they lose it. Fumbled it to Virginia Tech. And again, this is Nesbitt. Good job that time with the side. Of course, that was a deciding score at Boston College last week. Nesbitt has 29 yards already on the ground, but he'll pitch this one to Greg Smith. And it's like he has the defensive coordinator, Bud Foster, talked about how talented he was on the outside. Boy, Dwyer took a shot, but it's Nesbitt with the football. And he will he is really persistent, David. And the ball may be down again. And Lucas Cox, number 36 for Georgia Tennis. Durability for the entire season is going to be a huge key. And it's Dwight Nesbitt again, and he is maybe about a half a... And this will be a first down for Georgia Tech as they get into Hokies territory. Virginia Tech called that timeout. They have two left in this half. First down and ten for Georgia Tech. Nesbitt makes the choice to keep it, and he's got room, but there is a flag down on the far side. So this great run by Nesbitt. Nesbitt. Offside. Defense number 59. Oh. Penalties declined. First down. Yeah, well, nine to 20, Georgia Tech, for the first time today. And this time they leave it with Dwyer up the middle. Abilities man-to-man -man defensively. 89 total yards for Georgia Tech, all on the ground in 13 carries. But for a second, that hole is open, Dave. Third and long. And good penetration by Virginia Tech that time. That play was spoiled from the... That's Ronnie Jones in motion. First pass caught by Tyler Melton. And he'll get across the 25. There's some classic old-fashioned option. There's the pitch. And that is going to be a first down. Jonathan Dwyer. In fact, that may be a lot like Navy, doesn't it? Obviously, we will have flags. And Allen. Prior to the snap, offside, the defense into the neutral zone, causing the offensive player to react. Five-yard penalty remains first down. Hasn't had any really long one. Really, Nesbitt has done more damage on the ground than Dwyer, but this time Nesbitt's going to get damage done to him. And great penetration again this time. They're coming from right so far for the Yellow Jackets. And Nesbitt, look at the eyesight he has, and he has sighted a first down. 87 yards on the ground already in 13 carries. There is that attempt to pop the ball up the middle with Dwyer in the football game. And again, Dwyer, and again, he is... And Nesbitt hit almost the second the ball was snapped. Lane coming back with East Carolina special teams becoming a force in college football. Best starting position for either team so far today, and Georgia Tech quickly... Give me a little time. All right, you will have a little time. 
and Dwyer. I'll tell you one of the things they did. But Foster. And Georgia Tech flags are down. So never. Prior to the snap, false start. Offense number 71. Five yard penalty. Remains slow down. Friday before the game. And it's Nesbitt again, and he has crossed the 42 to the... See how Nesbitt is here on this play. First straight drop back. Wide open. That's Roddy Jones. And he will score. Who says they can't throw the ball at Georgia Tech? Minutes per touchdown drive. And they'll try to pop that play loose. They fake to Dwyer and go to Nesbitt across the floor in the first half. again for the second time and for the second time Virginia Tech has recovered Virginia Tech they'll play it straight and everywhere including these uniforms for the Hokies they haven't worn them since 1994 and there's Nesbitt but he made it look like a handoff straight ahead but he has been a magician with that football big props to the boys at EA Sports and Nesbitt this time didn't fool him and he'll get no gain made I think Virginia Tech is happy they've held Dwyer to only 25 but Nesbitt keeps it again let me ask you something here he's, he's that dangerous well he runs it into the middle of the defense and unfortunately I was but what were you doing wishing that I was asleep Nesbitt almost fell down there. Flag down. And he bounces that pass to the feet. We've had... Holding offense for 36. 10 yards from the previous spot. Remains first down. And for some... Thomas, who did not make the trip, suffering after effects of a concussion. Only a couple of yards that time for... Quincy Kelly comes into the ball game, but it's going to be Nesbitt who keeps the football and goes outside. It's going to be top two. <laughs> As a man open and a first down for Georgia Tech, Zach Fisher. The... <laughs> Haven't seen this play very often to Lucas Cox. And the A-back in this offense by the guard to Court Howard got out and really planted one on a Virginia Tech defender. Nesbitt pitches again. And that's Roddy Jones. Get football without their lead running back. Jonathan Dwyer shaken up on this drive. Boy, the pocket just collapsed. Wide open interception. Cody Grimm. The Hokies cashed it in for a five-point lead in the locker room. Virginia Tech has made the pay by scoring twice on those turnovers now. Going wide open, the ball is dropped. I'll tell you what. They go to the pitch with Cox. He's had a couple of good runs. Great blocking downfield also for George. Is back in the game at that B-back position right behind the quarterback. Nesbitt keeps it, and he'll advance it to the 40-yard line who call their own plays. Goes again to Cox. Another first down. And the thing... Emory Peoples gets an opportunity to carry the ball for the first time today. He gets Chandler was around that play. Nesbitt with a decision to go to Roddy Jones, and he is dumped up in spaces. Nesbitt hauled down. No. He go to Cox again. Hey, this has worked twice. Not nearly as effective, but he... Close to the arm, or does he? Nesbitt's got room here. First down, and a touchdown! Oh, 
Gonna back him up five. And Gordon now, Howard jump. And now you kick the extra point. Powerful snap. Ball start. Offense number 71. Five yard penalty. We repeat the try. One unless you just don't have the confidence in your special teams. They might try to draw them off sides, but I don't think so. We're tied. Lucas Cox. Pretty good getting off the bus. <laughs> he should at least limp a little bit, shouldn't he? Nesbitt makes a solid hit, but gets four. The game, Dwyer hasn't carried the ball since he came back. How much of the load will Nesbitt carry? They'll pitch it off to Jones, and Jones gets driven to the turf, but that... This combination worked well on the last drive, and you can see the fullback in cut. And first carry for Dwyer since he came back into the game in spots in college. Virginia Tech had it shut down outside. Where do they go now with it? They go deep. And open is Jones, and it just went in. Finger. Nesbitt. Unbelievable that he was still alive and brought down from behind of the Hokies takeover. Yellow Jackets do not have any timeouts. And there's a couple of flags coming in right away. Prior to the snap, illegal substitutions. Breaking the huddle with 12 players on the offense. Half the distance. Remain first down. Can he get out of bounds? I don't think he did. 49 yards on the ground for him today. Open. That's Melton. Out to the 33 before he is popped. 30 yards and get it out of bounds. He might just kill the clock here, but on the next. And Nesbitt will find an open receiver. And there's the ball game. A short tackle ends it by Mike.